released in your life. A reckless love. Extravagantly poured out and lavishly poured on us. A reckless love. spoke a word that you were singing over me. You have been so, so good to me. Before I took a breath, you breathed your life in me. You have been so, so
heartbeat of heaven. Mountain, you're a climber coming after me. There's no wall you won't kick down, lie you won't tear down, coming after me. What's he speaking? Listen. There's no shadow you won't lie in. Mountain, you won't climb up, coming after me. There's no condemnation in Christ. There's no wall you won't kick down, lie you won't tear down, coming after me. No shadow you won't light up, mountain you won't climb up, coming after me. There's no wall you won't kick down, lie you won't tear down, coming after me. There's no shadow you won't light up, mountain you won't climb up, coming after me. There's no wall you won't kick down, lie you won't tear down. the one that he left the 99 to go get I would say that all our hands that's all of us right so why don't we all stand and let's engage the one who left the 99 to find us who are the one let's not get lost in distraction this is the time right now to engage the father that he says I left the 99 to go find you. And I tell you what, I'm glad that he did. Because now that when I was one, I get to come and join the 99 in the praises of him who left the 99 to go find the one. So let's join the 99 and give thanks and praise to the one who left to come find us. He found us in our brokenness. He found us in our mess. He found us in our addiction. And so I just feel like the Lord wants us to just drink from this fountain, this truth right here. Can you put the pads up a little more? They're, they're kind of light in the house. We need those a little bit louder, please. There's just an anointing on the pads right now. Just begin to thanks, thank the Lord. Just begin to engage him, thank him. Father, we just thank you. That you left the 99 to find the one. That Lord, when I was the one, man, I was a mess, I was alone. No shadow you won't light up, a mountain you won't climb up, coming after me. There's no wall you won't kick down, lie you won't tear down, coming after me. There's no shadow you won't light up, a mountain you won't climb up.
hear all you sing this together. Let's sing this together. Actually, let's hold hands. Let's join hands. Join hands in one. And I find it interesting when I was reading about the upper room, 120 that were in the upper room. And the thing that kind of struck me was out of the 120, how many were in one accord? 120. There wasn't seven people sitting down, looking around, distracted. There, they were 120 engaging Jesus. And when, they, when every one of them engaged Jesus, that one sound, that, that one heart, was when a rushing sound, like a mighty wind, came in the room. There's some, there's so much power corporately when we come together and we engage the Father in one spirit, one voice, one heart. So let's just do this. Let's lift our hands to him, holding one another's hands. And then let's sing this bridge. And let's like, let's actually, I just feel like, we're, let's really sing it to him. Like he really did find me in my mess. You know, let's sing it to him like he really did come and found me in my brokenness. And he healed me. He delivered me. He set me free. So all one voice, let's sing this. There's no shadow you won't light up. Mountain you won't climb up. Coming after me. Yeah, let's all sing it. Come on. There's no wall you won't kick down. Every voice shout it out. There's no shout. your voice. Just begin to lift your voice. Shout to the
down into dark. Open my eyes. See that man. There you go. Hope of a life spent with you. So I'll sing this together. So here I am. So here I am. i 
that we're just singing because we know the song. And But God, I just pray that we're actually singing this from experience, Lord. That it's our hearts that we are literally amazed how you love us. That neither height nor depth, nor angel nor demon could ever separate us from the love you have for us. And let us, Lord, let us be amazed. Make us amazed, Lord. And if we are amazed at how much you love us, Lord, forgive us and show us, God, how amazing it is to be loved by you. Because your love casts out fear. Your love cast fear out of us, Lord. So I just speak to fear and I say, go. And I decree that, God, yes. that you'd replace fear with the love of Almighty God in us. Because fear will keep us from stepping, making that next step forward. But your love tells us it's okay. It takes that next step forward. I feel like this Lord is saying it's okay. I just feel like the Lord is just definitely saying um, it's okay to take that next step forward. Part of the new step in worship is as Ray was talking about a new sound. To have fun experimenting and playing with the new sound as you worship. Even during the songs that we sing where you just find a note. It doesn't even have to be what is being sung. And just engage in worship. It's a personal encounter. You don't have to follow the words. Jump into the new. Let the river of Holy Spirit listen to the voice of Spirit as you worship. And let Him take your worship to new realms and new places. I'm having a blast finding new. I'm always wanting to find new. And I'm discovering new places of worship and new sounds. So as Jerry leads us and as we all sing, don't be restricted and confined to the written words, even the melody. Find a note in the chord and begin to sing. Put your river in to the big river. Put your stream in. Discover something new. Listen.
to hear his voice as we go on in worship for someone else in this body. I want you now. He's ministered to who you are. And he's been ministering to you. And you've been ministering to him. And now Holy Spirit wants you to listen to the heartbeat for someone else in this room. And as you leave, whenever that is, please deposit the kiss of heaven to that person. Do you hear his heartbeat? Do you hear the heartbeat of others around you? God hears yours every minute of every day. He hears each heart of each of his people, those who know him, those who have not yet, those who have not yet come to know him, and even those in the womb. Listen for his heartbeat in others, for then you will know what he has for you to do this day and the next and the next. His love makes the world move. We, as his children, must show love to all grace, mercy, and shalom. Show them God is not hatred, but love. His son died and rose again for each of us so we could walk out of sin and into love. It is not our place to judge or condemn, but it is our job to show them his love and grace so they can see his glory. Here's my heart.
Here's my life, my child. Here's my life, my child. Here's my. is opening up eyes in this room to literally have vision, not where you see it in the spirit, where you actually, your eyes are open and you will see. This will be an avenue that the Holy Spirit will speak to you. Also, the dream gate, dreaming. God's going to increase dreaming in your life. God is igniting gifts in this room and abilities to hear God. He's literally melting the spiritual wax buildup in your ears. And you're going to be able to hear and see and perceive Him in a brand new way. You can go whenever you are released.
Okay, we have a, a, a word that's come through the sense of smell. So we want to hear what the Lord is speaking to us. Mevelyn has been smelling myrrh all morning long. So here. I've been smelling the frankincense all morning. And the historical use is, is the holy oil in the Middle East. And it's an ingredient in the holy incense. It was used anciently during sacrificial ceremonies to help improve communication with the creator also okay now i'm going to press you holy spirit breathe what are you speaking through this aroma of myrrh what are you saying to meveline in this body helping us to hear his voice. He is helping us to block out all of the regular brain noise and to hear his voice and to, to speak into the atmospheres those things that he wants us to speak, the things that are on his heart, his heartbeat. And myrrh was one of the burial oils and herbs and the Lord is saying also he wants us to bury the old that he can speak forth the new and it's a healing spice the sacrifices of the hearts and that he received them that the myrrh was part of that sacrifice God gave me the scripture from Philipp Philippians 4 finally brethren whatever things are true whatever things are noble whatever things are just whatever things are pure whatever things are lovely whatever things are of good report if there's any virtue and if there's anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. The things which you learned and received and heard and saw, on, saw in me, these do. And the God of peace will be with you. There is a new sound as Jamie was saying it. Man, I tell you, just hit me. There is a sound that is going to set the broken free. It's going to set hopelessness free. Are we listening? Are we willing to take the time? we willing to be uncomfortable to see the broken free to see identities that have been skewed come into order are we willing to lay down our lives are we willing to be uncomfortable are we willing to break every religious demon and religious thinking and the hate associated with religion. We can't be religious. Religion has to flee. We cannot be religious. It's about relationship. First with him. And then it spills out and pours out on this world. I feel like the Lord wants to uh, deliver. So, I, so it's weird. And I smelled the smell. And I was looked kind of looked around, but I don't think anyone would be smoking this. But I, I I smelled marijuana. But I felt like the Lord said He wants to deliver someone in here from marijuana. Yeah. It's a word of knowledge. It's a word of knowledge. So okay, if there's if the, it, guys, this is. There's absolutely no judgment whatsoever. If you smoke marijuana, 
Guys, stand up. They're, they're, like God is going to do something right now. And you want to be free. Yeah, there's, there, there's a freedom right now that the Lord is going to do with this, you know. And so I just hear the Lord saying that the spirit of pharmakia is being broken off your life. Colorado, and we break the stronghold that says you can use it for medicinal purposes too. Because for you to run to um, this for medicinal purposes is a lie of the enemy to keep you bound. I know this because it's something I struggled with too. You know, he set me free from smoking marijuana. I used to sell it, I used to smoke it. And the Lord set me free like this. Like it was an instant. And I wouldn't, I had, like the appetite for that stuff was gone. I, it was it was a deliverance that happened just boom. And so I decree that over you right now. That the spirit of pharmakeia is broken off your life in the name of Jesus. And we also break the mindset and the lie that's saying you use it for medicinal purposes. That's a lie of hell to keep you bound in the spirit of pharmakeia. And we release right now the chains. Right now we break the chains of pharmakeia of your life in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. To break the chains of marijuana to break the chains of pharmakeia off your life in the name of Jesus. We bind this demon of pharmakeia and the spirit of pharmakeia off right now in the state of Colorado and we bind the stronghold. We pull it down in the name of Jesus. And I call forth a holy conviction right now in the name of Jesus to fall upon everyone that smokes or touches marijuana in the name Jesus Christ. Those of you that are watching my live streaming, the Lord set you free right there where you're at, right there, if you want to be. He's setting you free from the drugs, not just marijuana. Some of you have been in crack. crack. Some of you smoking crack, some of you cocaine, some of you did the different drugs that you're taking out of the He's coming now. Oh, Jesus, oh, Those Jesus. Those by Facebook, he's delivering you. He's delivering you from all the lies and the deceit to keep you in bondage and all the bondages that have hindered you from being who you are and walking in the fullness of who you are. He's delivering you even now. He's coming and he's touching your heart. He's removing all the addictions the addictiveness, the addictive behaviors. The only one addictive behavior that we want is the addicted to Jesus. His addiction can't get it up. Amen. So, Lord, thank you for what you're doing right there. Lord, in live stream, Facebook, those who you're touching right here now. Lord, you're the deliverer. You came to set the captive free. Those that want to be free, Lord, you came to set free. Those that want to stay in bondage, they'll stay in bondage. But Lord, as those have come even now to set, be set free, those that are just at that voice, the cry, the voice of your Lord, your deliverer, your healer, he's speaking even now to you right now. He's speaking to you to deliver you. He delivered me. Yes, Lord. Drugs, alcohol. 
Shut up. Cigarettes, so oh, yeah. Seat, but I want to quit cigarettes. Nicotine. Yeah. Yeah. The Lord we call you delivered yes. now in the name of Jesus. Yes. The Spirit of the Living God has come upon you oh, to bring you deliverance oh, from that addiction in Jesus' name. Yes. Also, those. Also, from the addiction of pornography. Yes. And we say to that spirit, Go! How? And he struck you off. We send the hosts in. Jesus' name. This is really wild. About five minutes ago, I heard the timpani. I, I heard like a kettle drum. And I thought, wow, Yoshi is really. Man, I mean, this is like anointed. There's things that are breaking, breaking, breaking. I look back there. He isn't back there. There was actually a wow. heaven invasion wow. of a Tiffany kettle drum that was wow. warring and breaking off, off of you. things yes. and bondages yes. and addictions. Yes. That's the new sound. It's heaven. Yes. When we don't have a kettle drum, heaven does yes. and it comes in yes thank you also this any and all sexual perversions male and female yes. this isn't just a male deal and there are there are not only it wasn't just in the catholic church that all these perversions are moving through it's throughout the assault against the church to divert those leaders and divert those people from walking in to what God has for each one. That he wants to deliver you even now. There's even some that are watching and maybe some that are here that have been molesting children. And some the Lord, are watching, David. Some are watching. Yeah. And, and the Lord wants to deliver you even there, right there, right now. He's going to make these wrongs right if you'll let him. He's coming to set you free if you'll let him. But you have to let him. He will never force himself upon you. But you have an action. You have, to, you have your role, your part to play in this. You give him your Life, You give it to him and you get help. If you can't overcome something on your own, then you need to get help. You can't win and you're constantly in battle in different areas of your life that you can't get free from, then you need help. He's setting you free right now for those. Thank you, Lord. What do you got? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's fears that are keeping people from coming out and going because the, the fear says there's no help yeah. and, the, and that there's sh too much shame and too much guilt, too much pressure. Those are all lies of the enemy. Yeah. There is help. There is hope because God's love is unconditional. God's love is mighty. God's love goes anywhere. God's love covers all. And it is existing in the body of Christ. So get into the body. In the name of Jesus, we come against these fears, these lies in Jesus' name. And we pull them down. And we thank you, Lord God, for releasing an anointing into these lives. Lord God, as you promise, if we seek you, Lord God, you'll set us on high. You'll be the high, Lord God. You'll be God to us, Lord. So we just turn and repent, Lord God, from all ideas idolatry, Lord right. God, in every one of these areas, Father, because they do not satisfy, Lord God. Right. Only you can fill us, and you right. fill us to overflowing, and we're so grateful for that, Lord God. Yes. And we thank you, Lord God. We just call them out of darkness right now into the light of your help, Lord God, in Jesus' name. So be it. So, be it. so uh, Pastor Dave, I just really feel this. Where's, where's Pastor Didi? See if we can get her back. So there's, there, I just tell you what, what's going on here. I, I really feel that there is, there is just an incredible, I can feel it. There's an incredible anointing upon you and Pastor Didi, the two of you, an incredible anointing 
for deliverance. And, and what it is, it's, it's Christ in you coming forth to preach his message of deliverance. And I just would want for us to rally around you. And if we could have at least one or, or more shofars, and, and I would just, um, if you do this, if you guys are willing, you and Pastor Dieter are willing to do this, just open your mouth and whatever comes out, comes out. Open your mouth. And as you do that, we're going to play the shofars and we're going to do something that's going to, uh, um, something is going to happen in, in the spiritual realm. So as you, as, as you open your mouth, we'll play, we'll do the shofars and it's going to release something in, in the spiritual realm. Very good. Yeah. You know that scriptural too, you know, when the, when the shofar blasts come, uh, the shofars, when they sound, there's a sound that comes, the walls come down and whatever it is, um, this is a place, uh, a place, you know, the Lord came to deliver us and set us free. He came to set the captives free. And so, uh, Tom, I believe that is a good word of knowledge and the peace that the Lord wants to do. If uh, if you are still in a place right now, you, you're just sensing you still need some more deliverance. Sometimes it comes in waves, layers and line upon line, precept upon precept. The Lord, the enemy comes to destroy us line upon line. The Lord comes and it, because it's a, he just perverts what God has. He perverts God's ways. And the Lord right now, he's coming and he's doing a sovereign work. He's going to do a sovereign work of deliverance. And so now as, as, uh, as you, if there's something in your life, this is about you. This is now about you, not about anyone else. It starts with you. The Lord wants to start get. he wants to bring, bring healing to those ministers of the gospel. That's you. If you're born again, you're a minister of the gospel. And if he wants, he wants to, the ministers free so they can go out and minister freedom. Amen? And they won't be in bondage or guilt or shame. He died on the cross. He took it all on the cross. He paid the price for all of it. So now, as, as, as these shofars sound, if you want to just jump up, this is about you now. If there's areas in your life that you've been working on and you've been wanting to be delivered. And if you're at home by live stream, Facebook Live, you're at home wherever you're at, you stand up. Stand up. And now, and now here we, as we, as these shofars sound, the walls are coming down of these walls that have kept you in bondage. These walls of bondage and hindrances and destruction and all those things that have prevented you from moving on into the greatness of your calling. So let's just, show fires, let's just form a really tight circle around Pastors Dave and Didi, a form a circle of protection around them. And then they'll open their mouths and we'll do the blast. Okay, here we go. All right, you guys ready? Here we go. And this is what I was hearing for you and Didi, Pastor. Okay. Uh, John chapter 10, for you and Didi, John chapter 10, I think it's verse 7, where he was the shepherd, or Jesus. First he became the door, or first he entered through the door, and then he became the door, and it was dominion and authority. Well, God's opening a door yeah. this day and this now, now and this time of dominion and authority. Thank you. Lord, we received that. We received that, Lord. I have a, what's your name? Michelle. Michelle, I have a word from you. Um, I saw in the spirit that the Lord, uh, that, that the mountains that you have been facing, 
and I saw that the the um, enemy was on top of the mountain, and he he was he had this like this hold on the mountain, and every time the mountain would try to fall, the enemy would pull it back up. And I, I just heard the Lord say that that when that when that happened, like the shout and like the shofars, I saw the enemy. I heard the Lord say that the enemy's been kicked off the mountain, and like and then and then I saw like that the mountains are coming down, and. Um, also over like all, like the ones that you've been warring for, um, I hear the Lord saying that, that the war over you is, is over. And I hear the Lord saying that the war that's been over your soul, that like over who you are. And I just hear the Lord saying that it's over and that the war over the war where the enemy is just constantly like this. And I hear the Lord saying also too, that, that, that he's washing the torment and the harassment and rejection. And uh, all that, and I heard the Lord saying that He's He's planted a seed in you, in you know, today. And I saw like the Lord just begin to water the seed in you, um, and then um, it, it's it's a deep part, you know. And I heard the Lord saying that it's a seed of healing, because He's going deep inside of you and, and bringing that seed of healing. And there's going to be so much healing in your life, and like like emotionally, like he, and I heard the Lord saying that He's going to turn your mourning into dancing, you know, and like and your 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 tears into joy, you know, like. You know, and but these are these are tears of joy because of what God is doing in your life right now. But you know, I do I see that that the Lord is is this it's a it's a picture of restoration that I see the Lord doing in your life too. Is that when you look in the mirror, um, I, I just felt like the Lord showed me that when you looked in the mirror, you weren't happy with what you saw. But the Lord says that that that's changing, and then He says, then now when you look in the mirror, you're going to see me. You're going to see the Jesus. You know, and so, so that because he's called you to be re a reflection of who he is, of his love, and there's so much love inside of you to give, and and that seed of healing that God is using inside of you is just going to bring so much healing, but to your life, but then also to your family's life, and then your, do you have kids? Okay, I was going to say that the Lord said that that He's placed a seed in um, each of your of your children too. And that you don't have to worry about how your children are going to grow up because I hear the Lord saying that he has his eye on them. Yeah. <laughs> so, so Lord, we just, we just say right now, Father, I just, we just bless her right now. And just, Lord, we lift her up to you and we thank you that the mountains are coming down, Lord. And Lord, you're going to just, just walk in into new realms of love. Father, just new realms of love, Lord. And I heard the Lord saying that you're going to hope again. <laughs> Circumstances have come in and stolen hope, but I heard the Lord saying that I'm restoring hope. <laughs> and I'm cleaning up your bloodline. And I'm restoring hope. You're going to hope again, and I hear the Lord saying that you're going to dance. <laughs> you're going to dance on injustice and I hear the, all the injustice that's been done to you. I hear the Lord saying you're going to dance on all and every injustice that's been done to you. And the things that have once danced over you, I hear the Lord saying that you will now dance over them and they will be under your feet. All and every injustice that's been done to you and every wrong. And, and, Lord, and I hear the Lord saying that he's righting every wrong. And that he's righting every wrong. So we just declare, Lord, a fresh fire, a fresh anointing over her right now. In Jesus' name, Father. And I hear the Lord saying that it's multiplication time for you. That just like be, and I hear the Lord saying also be on the lookout. Because there's multiplication coming your way. And you, you're not going to have to struggle. The struggle is over. The struggle is over. Jesus. And I feel like the Lord is also saying, is there, I just feel like the Lord wants to, like the Holy Spirit wants to baptize you. And I feel like this, you just ask the Holy Spirit, just Holy Spirit, just baptize me, you know, and, and I just feel like there's a, there's a baptism that the Lord wants to do in your life right now. Yeah. So let's just, let's, if you just do, just lift your hands for me. And I feel the Lord saying that he's marking you, but he wants to baptize you with the Holy Spirit. There it is. Just, just begin to say, Holy Spirit, a fresh baptism of the Holy Spirit. I right know, Father, baptize the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Baptize.
baptize her Holy Spirit. With the evidence of speaking in tongues, Holy Spirit, your word says that after this, he will come and baptize you with Holy Spirit and fire is what the word says. So I just say right now, Father, a baptism, fresh fire, and a baptism of Holy Spirit. You feel it inside of you. Just begin to say, Robakash, there it is, right there. Shada da 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 ba ka da da ba ro ba ku da da ba ra ba gu. Yes, Lord. Oh. Oh, na ka ba ro ba ku na da ba shi. So just keep saying it, kids. Just keep keep it going. It's like a river. It just out of your innermost being flow. Out of your innermost being. Out of your innermost being. In Jesus' name. Out of your innermost being right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, I want to say this. He knows absolutely zero of anything. That was straight from Papa's heart to you. Thank you, Lord. To prove his love. Yeah. That you have a destiny. And he has a plan and purpose. Yeah. Yeah. No one else can do it but you. He did it just. It's not cookie cutter. This is custom made stuff. Yeah. Just for you. Thank you, Lord. Oh, I, I got something for you, too. Um, when you were walking by, I, I just seen a butterfly. And I just seen you were, you were tucked in this cocoon. And it was just all around you. You couldn't break out. It's just like all around you. It's just hurting all around, all around, all around. And I just seen it splitting open and just the light coming through. And it's like the Holy Spirit's water just flooding you out. It's flooding you out of the cocoon and it's breaking you free. You are his precious butterfly. He's bringing you the wings to be flown up above all the storms and all the things that you've been tucked in that cocoon. And he's bringing you into new elevations of his love and his freedom, this freedom over you. Very good. Very good. As Jerry was giving you the word about that your children are going to be well, I saw the word of God coming into you like steel foundations, like a high tower making you stand up. And his word and his promises is where your foundation is and you're speaking that out over your children and you are declaring those things because that's God's heart for them right. and that's your heart for them. Right. You won't be moved by what you see. You will not be moved by what you feel. You're a woman of faith and Amen. we trust in the word of the living God. Amen. It will do its work Amen. in you and in them. Amen. In Jesus' name. Sure, glad you came to church today. I bet you did. Hey, um, hey, you guys. Um, uh, this is. Let, let's just. Hey, if you have to go, go. Listen, this is uh, Mark. There's some things that Paul said, and also that Ray said, um, that he really recorded, and it really just grabbed my heart. But Mark kind of, he's got them recorded, and uh, so let's just hear these out here. The really cool things for those. Are mm. And I just got unspeakable joy. Every tear that came out and has been coming out is going to be an anointing over your family. And it's just going to go out like waves. Um, first, I, I just have to say this. Pastor Dave and Dee Dee, um, it's a family affair. How you love Jerry through his struggle, and believe you, I've been there. The mercy that Paul talked about. I exhort everybody to go back and watch Paul again, Paul Wilbur. He talked about he had never really looked at the mercy seat. And when he finally went to a place and allowed the Lord to peel back things, and he saw what the mercy seat represented, because if you remember, the manna was a testimony against us, our murmuring. And, and the rod was a testimony against our disobedience. But the angelics, the angels, the, the mercy, the blood is above that. Mm -hmm. So when we start to approach people from that truth, there is no judgment because we're like, but by the grace of God, I'm even here. We would have all been extinguished. Then Ray said, and again, it, let, me, it, let me don't, don't hold that thought. Remember when Jesus, he came and he presented his blood at the mercy seat before the father. 
Amen. How about us? Very good. And, and Paul kept saying what he heard was not guilty. But with Paul, because he's got this worship, this worship in him that's just, he's, he, Paul's going through a metamorphosis. It's beautiful. But I heard, and Paul was saying this, not, not only not guilty, I love you. You're my son. You're my daughter. You're my family. So then Ray comes in, and this has all been progressive, and Ray says, I mean, what he spoke succinctly focused in such a short period of time was profound. He, he was talking about a new era, a new sound, a new song, and then at the gateway, at the gateway gateway. I encourage everybody to go look at Genesis twenty two seventeen. Genesis twenty two seventeen. It's in regards to covenant that God cut with Abraham when he woke, walked through the pieces of his life. Then I just need to say this. When I came in here and we were speaking in tongues today and we went into a new realm, uh, God gave me this picture that it's, you know, it's preseason football. No, we're in season. That we're in in Ecclesiastes 3, 1. There's a time under heaven and it's perfect. So here's what the Lord said. The, the, the armor is our uniform, and when we put on the helmet of salvation and we take the shield of faith, we have a strong defense. But he said, now take my sword, which oh, yeah. has the word word in it, oh, yeah. and start shredding yeah. all the work of the enemy. He says, I'm going to strip. So you know the picture when, when just whoever you like in football, the guys that can throw the TDs, Every time we take the ball now, because he's, he's got our number. Dwayne was wearing the jersey today. He's got our name on our front and our back, including our generations speaking forward out of, yeah. out of Hebrews 12, 1 and 2. He's saying to us right now, he's saying, every time you touch the ball, you're going to score. And, yeah. the, and the enemy is fumbling. We're, we're so intercepting good. the enemy. Yeah. It's turnover. Even on defense, we're scoring. That's so it's so a good. doubly new beat. Beginning. And lastly, remember it mission possible because if you go look at the gospels, with man it's impossible, but with God, God Yahweh, all things are possible. Wow. <laughs> wow. How many multiple sermons have we heard today, man? <laughs> and you're still here. Huh? <laughs> We're practicing for 24-7. That was an awesome message, my dear. I have not heard you teach the way you were teaching there in that new too. Um, all right. This is the best thing to do now. Let's hear the voice of the Lord and then go do it. We got to be doers of the word now. We got all this in us and we got to let it out. Amen. We're still, we're still live streaming. Yeah, you as well. You as well, Facebookers. Huh? All of us. We better be doing what God's told us to do and he's equipped us to do. Huh? I, 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 was, uh, I was overtaken, really, by that testimony. How Ed and Jema kept pressing in after one tragedy, after another tragedy, after another tragedy, and kept tithing. And they kept because they had, they were like a dog with a bow. They were, they were like a, they were going to, there was a strength that God developed in them. Let it be so that we would all take that, that very, the strength of the most high and pursue him with everything we have. This world will change. This world will change, man. And its core and its source is love. Amen. It's love. Yeah, I just want to stress with that testimony, Jam and I never once felt strong in it. Okay? Wow, we never felt strong in it. And I'd like to sit here and say that I was always pumping out beautiful rainbows and, you know, happy thoughts all the time. <laughs> Rarely was that happening. It was a hard, exhausting slog. The reason we could stay faithful is because we trusted God. We walked in the trust. So it's... so. When Dave says I was a, like a dog chewing on a bone, I was more like a dog crying over my bone. Like, please don't take my bone away. Does that make sense? Yeah. But God stayed there, yeah. and God guarded us in that. Okay, so I don't want it to sound like we're all that in a bag of chips because I didn't have any chips. Well, we, know, we, we know that, right? brother. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you can testify yeah. that I yeah. don't have what it yeah. takes. Yeah. 
I, yeah, right. Yeah. 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 Um, exactly. And you, you know, no, no glory to man. I know, and I'm, I'm not trying to do that, Ed. But I mean, there's a, there's a story in that, a testimony. That's a living testimony. When you are going right through hell, you overcame by the yeah blood of the Lamb, the word of testimony. You're going right through the center of hell. Ooh, you just keep doing what you know to do, what you've been trained. It's like a, yeah, that's right. Say it again. The table is waiting at the end where your enemies have to watch you partake of everything in that season that the enemy tried to steal. He gets to watch you eat and partake of your inheritance. You know, that's really, really important. You know, this is, you are highly skilled and you might not even know it. You know, when, when, the, when our soldiers, our men and women, our great men and women, when our police and our, 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 our great police officers and our great, great um, military people, they are trained. And they are so trained so to be so on course and not get away from what they've been trained to right when they're in the midst of hell. Amen? So are we. The Lord has trained us to walk in its fullest measures and be victorious in everything we do. All right. Can we have, Ed, would you um, pray over the Sujis and anyone else that is going through financial things? And you guys come up here that are having financial, and in the meantime, we're going to have Linda share. Just really quick. It is a commitment and a covenant. And even though you go through the hard times, you see the commitment, you see the covenant, and you stay in the relationship. That's right. Amen. That's right. And don't defer away from the Lord to get mad at him because he's not doing exactly the way you want And you to. just, from your belly, I'm yeah. talking, you guys just do it. Very good. Declare it. Very good. Right. And the rest of you. Watch it. Intercede or go home, whatever you want to do. Huh? Whether Bless you need you all. it or not, it's okay to come up and say, I want more. Yeah. Right? Thank you, Lord. God declared in his word that he wants you to have more. He wants you to prosper even as your soul prospers. So we've got to get the soul prospering. You've got every facet of your life prospering. He's not just talking parts of your life. He's not just talking a small sector of your life. He's talking everything. Everything which he's given you dominion over you should be able to rule and multiply and grow. And that's, that's what it's all about. Your family, your wealth, your, your, your home, your businesses, your jobs, whatever. Okay? 